Hello today we are talking about 5G. I hope we spend a good time. Let's begin. In telecommunications, 5G is the fifth generation technology standard for broadband cellular networks, which cellular phone companies began deploying worldwide in 2019, and is the planned successor to the 4G networks which provide connectivity to most current cell phones. 5G networks are predicted to have more than 1.7 billion subscribers worldwide by 2025, according to the GSM Association. Like its predecessors, 5G networks are cellular networks, in which the service area is divided into small geographical areas called cells. All 5G wireless devices in a cell are connected to the internet and telephone network by radio waves through a local antenna in the cell. The main advantage of the new networks is that they will have greater bandwidth, giving higher download speeds, eventually up to 10 gigabits per second. Due to the increased bandwidth, it is expected the networks will increasingly be used as general internet service providers for laptops and desktop computers, competing with existing ISPs such as cable internet, and also will make possible new applications in Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine areas. 4G cell phones are not able to use the new networks, which require 5G-enabled wireless devices. The increased speed is achieved partly by using higher frequency radio waves than previous cellular networks. However, higher frequency radio waves have a shorter useful physical range, requiring smaller geographic cells. For wide service, 5G networks operate on up to three frequency bands, low, medium, and high. A 5G network will be composed of networks consisting of up to three different types of cells, each requiring specific antenna designs as well as providing a different trade-off of download speed to distance and service area. 5G cell phones and wireless devices connect to the network through the highest speed antenna within range at their location. Low band 5G uses a similar frequency range to 4G cell phones, 600 to 850 megahertz, giving download speeds a little higher than 4G 30 to 250 megabits per second. Low band cell towers have a range and coverage area similar to 4G towers. Mid band 5G uses microwaves of 2.5 to 3.7 GHz, allowing speeds of 100 to 900 megabit per second, with each cell tower providing service up to several kilometers in radius. This level of service is the most widely deployed, and should be available in most metropolitan areas in 2020. Some regions are not implementing low band, making this the minimum service level. High band 5G uses frequencies of 25 to 39 GHz, near the bottom of the millimeter wave band, although higher frequencies may be used in the future. It often achieves download speeds in the gigabit per second range, comparable to cable internet. However, millimeter waves have a more limited range, requiring many small cells. They can be impeded or blocked by materials in walls or windows. Due to their higher cost, plans are to deploy these cells only in dense urban environments and areas where crowds of people congregate such as sports stadiums and convention centers. The above speeds are those achieved in actual tests in 2020, and speeds are expected to increase during rollout. The industry consortium setting standards for 5G is the third generation partnership project. It defines any system using 5G near, 5G new radio, software as, 5G, a definition that came into general use by late 2018. Minimum standards are set by the International Telecommunications Union. Previously, some reserved the term 5G for systems that deliver download speeds of 20 gigabits per second. 5G networks are digital cellular networks, for which the service area is divided into small geographical cells. The 5G wireless devices in a cell communicate by radio waves with a local antenna array and low-power automated transceiver, transmitter and receiver, in the cell, over frequency channels assigned by the transceiver from a pool of frequencies that are reused in other cells. The local antennas are connected to transmission electronics connected to switching centers in the telephone network and routers for internet access by high bandwidth optical fiber or wireless backhaul connections. As in other cell networks, a mobile device moving from one cell to another is automatically handed off seamlessly to the current cell. 
5G can support up to a million devices per square kilometer, while 4G supports only one-tenth of that capacity. The new 5G wireless devices also have 4G LTE capability, as the new networks use 4G for initially establishing the connection with the cell, as well as in locations where 5G access is not available. Several network operators use millimeter waves for additional capacity, as well as higher throughput. Millimeter waves have a shorter range than microwaves, therefore the cells are limited to a smaller size. Millimeter waves also have more trouble passing through building walls. Millimeter wave antennas are smaller than the large antennas used in previous cellular networks. Some are only a few centimeters long. Massive MIMO, multiple input, multiple output, was deployed in 4G as early as 2016 and typically used 32 to 128 small antennas at each cell. In the right frequencies and configuration, it can increase performance from 4 to 10 times. Multiple bit streams of data are transmitted simultaneously. In a technique called beamforming, the base station computer will continuously calculate the best route for radio waves to reach each wireless device and will organize multiple antennas to work together as phased arrays to create beams of millimeter waves to reach the device. The ITUR has defined three main application areas for the enhanced capabilities of 5G. They are Enhanced Mobile Broadband (EMB), Ultra Reliable Low Latency Communications URLLC, and Massive Machine Type Communications MMTC. Only EMB is deployed in 2020. URLLC and MMTC are several years away in most locations. Enhanced Mobile Broadband EMB, uses 5G as a progression from 4G LTE mobile broadband services, with faster connections, higher throughput, and more capacity. This will benefit areas of higher traffic such as stadiums, cities, and concert venues. Ultra-reliable low-latency communications URLLC, refer to using the network for mission-critical applications that require uninterrupted and robust data exchange. Massive machine-type communications MMTC, would be used to connect to a large number of devices. 5G technology will connect some of the 50 billion connected IOT devices. Most will use the less expensive Wi-Fi. Drones, transmitting via 4G or 5G, will aid in disaster recovery efforts, providing real-time data for emergency responders. Most cars will have a 4G or 5G cellular connection for many services. Autonomous cars do not require 5G, as they have to be able to operate where they do not have a network connection. However, most autonomous vehicles also feature teleoperations for mission accomplishment, and these greatly benefit from 5G technology. While remote surgeries have been performed over 5G, most remote surgery will be performed in facilities with a fiber connection, usually faster and more reliable than any wireless connection. 5G is currently in the earliest phase of deployment, with carriers rolling out limited 5G availability through 2020 and broader availability by the end of 2021. Increased mobile network capacity and low latency from 5G will make new applications possible, from 5G-enabled smart factories and cities to constantly connected medical devices. 5G represents the first time a wireless network has been created with more than phones in mind, with edge computing and the Internet of Things becoming vital to 5G from the start. AG versus 4G A new generation of mobile network technology stands ready to go further than its predecessors could have dreamed. What does 5G mean? Simply put, 5G is short for, fifth generation. You may also see the standard called 5G near, the near stands for, new radio. If the earliest mobile network, analog voice calls, no SMS, no mobile data or browsing, was the first generation, 5G is its great-great-grandchild, when today's 4G long-term evolution, LTE, mobile networks started rolling out nearly a decade ago, consumers welcomed a new era of rich media mobile browsing. Representing both an evolution of the 4G standard and a revolution in radio technology, 5G technology promises to transform the 2020s into a time of unprecedented connectivity and technological advancement. With higher capacity and speed, plus ultra-low latency, 5G will power innovation that would have been impossible under the 4G LTE standard. 
How does 5G work? All four previous generations of mobile networks used macro cell towers, hundreds of feet tall, requiring vast power outlays to transmit over long distances. 5G works a bit differently. This upgraded mobile network uses a combination of frequencies from multiple bands to maximize throughput. In addition to traditional macro cell towers, 5G will also use a large number of much smaller micro cells for new millimeter wave spectrum bands to create a blanket of ultra high speed network coverage. Benefits of 5G for many end users, the 5G upgrade is all about speed. With predicted 5G speed of up to 10 gigabits per second, new networks will be up to 100x faster than their predecessors. For industrial, agricultural, and commercial use cases, the biggest benefits of 5G are its high capacity and minimal lag. With up to 5x the bandwidth available with 4G, 5G will give rise to new methods of production and distribution. Early tests also show that 5G may cut network latency in half. 5G use cases the transformative power of 5G will touch nearly every industry. Compelling 5G use cases have already been identified in the healthcare, agriculture, retail, transportation, logistics, and manufacturing industries, among others. Media and entertainment The availability of broadband made it possible to move movies, TV, and gaming to the cloud. Now, 5G promises to bring even richer media experiences to any screen, anywhere. End users will be able to enjoy smooth video streaming in 4K, immersive virtual reality VR, experiences, and highly responsive gameplay on devices connected to a 5G network, leading to greater revenue opportunities for content creators, cloud service providers, and communications service providers. Manufacturing the convergence of 5G with AI and the intelligent edge will revolutionize the factory floor in ways not seen since Henry Ford unveiled the first assembly line. Supply chain, inventory management, and quality assurance processes, augmented by IoT and edge computing, will increase automation levels and reduce unit costs. Retail modern brick and mortar stores face an uphill battle to keep customers due to the onslaught of online retail. With 5G, retailers of the future will power new omnichannel customer experiences. One way. Taking the cash register out of retail transactions. By using AI-enabled cameras with low latency, retailers will be able to create an automatic checkout experience that's as simple as walking out of the store with your full cart. Healthcare for doctors and patients, 5G represents a new frontier of care. Imagine a wearable insulin pump that uses AI to give individualized suggestions about diabetes management to the patient's endocrinologist or a smart implanted defibrillator that automatically and safely restarts a stopped heart and instantly notifies the patient's cardiologist with information about the incident. 5G availability at today's early stages of the 5G rollout, deployments are limited in scope and their locations determined by individual carriers. In the United States, all four major wireless communications service providers have early 5G deployments in multiple cities. While most rollouts have involved mobile devices, some have been fixed wireless only that is, 5G that works for a fixed point, like home internet access. Outside the US, providers have begun deploying 5G in countries including China, South Korea, Germany, and Switzerland. While select locations have some 5G coverage, today's deployments are just the prelude to citywide rollouts. Industry analysts indicate that mass deployment of 5G, on a scale that brings it to a broad user base of both consumers and businesses, is likely to start around 2021. The future of 5G will depend not only on carrier rollouts but also device availability. From cell phones to smart city sensors, broader availability of devices developed with 5G in mind are expected to be launched in 2020 or 2021, with an onslaught of 5G-enabled experiences beginning in 2022 as new products are created to meet the demands emerging from 5G technology. Thanks for your time.